Hey guys, Supervisedly here, and in this video I'm going to showcase the process of annotating animals with key points. This will involve manual as well as automatic annotation using neural networks. Let's get started. So here I have my data collection. It is just a small dataset containing 32 pictures of cows, but it could be any four-legged animal for this task. So let's pick a random image and go into the labeling interface itself. I will start with manual annotation. Here I have a picture of a cow and the first thing we need to do when working with key points is we need to create a key points class. For that I will grab a key points tool and here we actually get a warning that we need to create a class and to do so we need to follow this link. Okay, here's the cre class creation page. And the first thing we need to do is we need to pick a shape. I will pick a graph or key points, of course. Uh, I will, let me pick a different color real quick. Let it be red. And now we need to create a key points template. Key points template is a skeleton structure consisting of nodes and edges that we will place over each of our object when annotating manually. And then we will correct this structure to fit our animal. Let me choose a picture for that. So here I have a pic different picture from this data set. And now I will just create a template in fast forward. Okay, so now we need to type in a title for our class. Okay, looks good. Also, if uh, you want, you can place a description for your class or assign a hotkey to it. I will not do that. Let's press save. Okay, our class is created. We can return to the labeling interface. Okay, so now we need to place two points uh, kind of like when we place a bounding box over an object. So one in the top left corner and the other one is bottom right corner. Okay, so as you see, the key points didn't perfectly fit our cow, so we need to adjust them a little bit. Let's do that. And also, you may or may not have noticed that when working with key points, on the top panel, we have a three tool selection. First of which being a drag a point to move tool. Second is disable or enable points. And the third one is a click on a point to remove. The first tool is used to drag around points to correct them and move them. Second is used when a certain point is not visible. So let's say on a picture, we don't see this point, we can just Select this tool, press on this point, and the lines that connect the points are now in gray. On this picture, we can see that really good, but they are. So when some of the points are covered and not visible, we can use this tool. And the last tool is used to obviously remove some points. Also, I almost forgot to mention that when creating a class, we could rename each of the points to, to let's say, hips or uh, left ear, right ear, etc. Uh, if you want, you could do that. So just like that, we have annotated our object manually. But in my opinion, this is not the most efficient way to approach animal annotation with key points because it just takes uh, a lot of time to adjust all these key points. Let's get over to the much more convenient type of key points annotation, which is annotation in labeling interface using neural networks. Let's go to the home page. So first, before using a neural network, we need to surf or deploy it onto our computer. So to do that, let's go to the start menu, go into the neural networks tab. And here we can scroll down to find pose estimation or key points tag. Let's click on it. And here we have our pose estimation 
applications. I want to serve this application, Bitpose. Let's click a run app button. Now let's go to advanced settings and I want to run this application on this computer. If you want to know how to connect your computer to Supervisely, I will leave a link in the description to the videos where I show this process both for Linux or Mac OS users and for Windows users. Let's click run button. So here is a table of pre-trained models available for, for this application. We of course need uh, animal pose estimation models, so I will go with a large model because I have a lot of GPU memory. So here we have a list of supported animal species. And now let's press serve button. Okay, so the model has been successfully loaded onto our device. Let's go to our data. And right now I will show you how to use the pose estimation neural network inside the labeling tool. Let me rearrange the labeling tool a little bit so it would be clearer for you to see. So we need to launch neural network image labeling application. Let's press run. Let's click run button. And here we need to define the session of our model that we have recently deployed. Let's click connect button. And right now we just need to place a bounding box over our object, but first we need to create a class for that. So now let's place the bounding box over this cow and uh, and here we have apply model to ROI button. Uh, ROI stands for region of interest. Let's click apply. So as you see, the model estimated the pose of this animal perfectly. It's even named all the parts of the points. And I think it's got the job uh, better than I did. Also, if they are not satisfied with the inference of a pose estimation model, we can go into the settings tab. And here we can configure different settings like the classes that uh, should be kept or the inference settings itself. We can modify the point threshold and uh, choose how to add predictions. Let's try it on another image. Let's click apply model to ROI. Let me zoom in a little bit. And yes, really cool. But what if we have a large data set or project that consists of many thousands or even millions images and we don't have the time to place bounding box over each cow and click apply model, that would be very inefficient. So we have another application that covers this task. Let me show it. Let's go into the neural networks page and here we can go to the post estimation key points tag again. And here we have apply detection and post estimation models to images project. But to use this application, we need to have an object detection neural network as well as post estimation neural network models deployed onto our device at once. So let me actually serve a YOLO V8 model for object detection. I will serve it on the same agent. Let's click run button. Okay, so here we have a couple of model sizes. I will choose uh, the large model and pick an object detection task type. Let's click surf. Okay, let's go into the neural networks tab once again, go to the post estimation key points tag and run this application. Let's select our project. And here in advanced settings, I will deploy it onto the same agent once again. Right now, 
the output shows that the application is started, so we can click the open button. Okay, so now we need to select the input project. I have done that. Now let's connect to the detection model. If you have several of object detection models deployed onto your device, you can choose between them. I have only all of eight, so let's connect to that. Next, we need to uh, select detection model classes. Uh, in my case, I only need to detect cows, so I will only choose cows. Let's press select one class button. Now we need to configure the detection settings. I will leave them on default. Here we have a detection inference preview, and as we see, it works pretty good. So I'm satisfied with that. Next, we need to connect to the pose estimation model. I will choose with pose. Now we need to check the pose estimation model classes. Once again, I only need to estimate the poses of a cow. So let's only select that. Here we have some pose estimation settings. I will leave them on default as well. And here once again, we have the inference preview of a pose estimation model. Now we need to configure the output project name. I will leave it as is. Now let's press apply model. All right, so the output project is generated. Let's see how the models performed. As we see in some cases where the object is poorly visible, the model could not generate a pose estimation for it. So keep that in mind. And even on this instance, the model got a good pose estimation over this objects. So as I have just shown you, Supervisory Platform has strong baseline labeling interface that allows for key points manual annotation as well as possibility to use different applications and different states of the art neural network models to speed up the labeling process drastically. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have some questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.